People, they must is here with a quick overview or tutorial on how to make your very own YouTube channel art or well, how to actually draw it on a program known as Krita, which is an open source digital painting program which is well, open source, it's free, you can do with it whatever you want it's not like Paint Plus I or Photoshop where you have to pay for them or Game Paint net because well this has a few tools that I like over them so well the thing is that by watching these tutorials and others that I'm planning to do you'll be able to start with something simple like this which then becomes the line art and finally after you color it it becomes something more or less like this and in the future if I keep making this kind of stuff and you keep watching it maybe even something like this like this Wingward thumbnail that I use because well if you check my channel you'll see that I make pretty much all of my own artwork the banner the icon the thumbnails so yeah hopefully you'll be able to do that as well so first I'm just going to do a quick overview here on what do you need to do to get started first you have to download Krita from its website and then once you open it the first thing I recommend you to do is to go to settings and then configure shortcuts because well on long term you probably don't want to go and click on everything because you might want to do things a bit faster so then you going to i recommend you to check some like the alpha you i'll tell you some other time about it but well it in short words is just allows you to draw over something that you have already drawn without going out of the lines of the coloring you also want to check out the zoom in zoom out to quickly be able to change layers to well that kind of stuff so once you play with it uh, you can try to learn it later but the more you start using Krita, the more things you'll want to do quickly without having to go through menus. So, well, now, the tools. What do you need to know to begin drawing right away? Well, here are the tools. The ones I use the most are the freehand brush tool, then the one that allows you to draw. Uh, let's make a new layer here. You might want to look into information about layers if you're not familiar with painting programs. Because, well, MS Paint does not count. Well, here's the brush one, which I was setting up the alpha, so it wasn't drawing anything. But now you can see that if you draw with it, then you'll, well, actually start drawing. So we can actually do something like, I don't know, draw a freaking Goomba, I don't know. So here we have a little head of the Goomba, the little body over here, and a little feet. The eyes, it's supposed to have apparently an unibrow this time. So now we have the Goomba over here looking kind of pissed off. Yeah, he's pissed off. Well, why? Well, I'm just yeah, was just a big, uh, very, very quick test because, well, as you see, everything here are tests. The, the idea here is to teach you about the tools, not actual drawing progress or anything because, well, I'm, uh, I don't know. That thing, that kind of stuff needs practice. So, well, we have the brush here, which, if you, by the way, if you paint, if you hold shift. Then you can make the size larger, smaller of the brush and start drawing different style with different sizes here, like this, like that. And well, other than that, then you can select other types of, of brushes over here. You can make your very own one. I might have to go into detail some other time with those. But for example, let's select this one and it has these little rocked parts over here. Then if you select another one, this even has a pattern I suppose no it does not but they are all supposedly different and you can download another because if you're paying attention to this thing I have some that have been downloaded from I think DeviantArt but that's not the important thing here I'll tell you something about the brushes now the brush I made this one it has a very lousy icon but well it's the only one I currently have I do it I use it for most of my work so well the thing that makes Krita better than Photoshop in one, well, in just one aspect at least, is the stabilizer tool when you select a brush and you have the tool options activated. If you don't have them by default, then you have to search for them on settings, windows, I don't know, on tools maybe. And well, if you start using the brush and you have no smoothing, then you're going to get lines like this. Let's try to draw a straight line. It looks very bad because my hand is a bit shaky. If you have problems like this, well, like mine, then you have to select the stabilizer tool and then place with the distance and let's see how smooth the lines get now. This is very very smooth in comparison, doesn't it? Isn't it? Sip. When you play with this kind of stuff then you can make 
the sketches or the line i use it for the line and mostly because well let's say that if you have this guy over here let's zoom a bit in if i have the stabilizer tool i can just draw smoothly around this guy a bit, let's increase it a bit more more or less but let's increase it even more and here we go let's do it like this let's ignore some of the lines just to make sure that i'm getting my point delivered here and uh, let's add the ads the eyes over here and there we go a very very quick line art the very loosey one a very cartoony one but that's beside the point now you just have to well select the tool over here then play with different dif different kind of brushes you can even adjust some parts of it to suit your needs like the size spacing mirror softness sharpness yeah you can make your very own set of tools which you can access quickly by right clicking and selecting it over here or even organize them to put them like in erasers favorite presets or well that kind of stuff other tools that are going to be important for you maybe even more important than the brush if you into i don't know making environments um, drawing houses or the like is the line tool which you can make use of it like this there are other things to consider on this kind of tools because well i'm not a big expert of krita i only know the tools that i use so you might want to try and experiment on your own like making the squares making the circles making working with vectors which are very weird in this kind of program you might want to do get illustrator if you're going to try to do logos and the like then you can play with the brush on the this what's the call the paint bucket which depending on your own on the tool options you may be able to color parts of this um I, I, oh, what the heck a little glitch that my krita has i don't know if it applies to everyone well the, you can make it to color just parts of it in order to quickly make you color your line art or you can just fill the limited to a single layer so it ignores the other ones above it well you can just play with that so for now i think that should be enough it's a quick start i will better practice with this and that and on the next tutorials i'm going to go into more details on how to make actual line art uh, well at least to make the sketches because well to be honest you can just take a photo even with a very lousy camera and paste it around and then just draw over it and then you can make your own line art like that so well the important things to consider when you're going to use Krita is that while you don't need a graphic tablet it's very very recommended because if you're trying this with your mouse let's just do it like I'm doing it right now you're going to have to do a lot of undo and the like because if you the thing is well technically you can do this whole thing for free which is the point of making the tutorial I suppose but I highly recommend getting a graphic tablet if you're not going to if you're going to do your own art long term it's a very very good investment I've had this one for years and it made I have made over 300 pieces of art I suppose well uh, it's relatively speaking I like consider every kind of drawing and every kind of submission like art so yeah uh, that's not to talk about skill and that kind of stuff because long, I think I'm going to lose on that on some of those but as anyways that was enough for today I hope that you like this tutorial if you want more then just put it in the comments if you have a specific question don't hesitate to ask and I'll try to cover them on future tutorials but for now that's it thanks for watching and the mosque is out